Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we'll be customizing our dashboard that's the plus we created in the last video. If you've missed that I'll put a link in the description and somewhere up top right for you to click and watch so you understand what we'll be doing today. So let's dive in and start customizing our dashboard. So I think I'll be going for more like a dark team. I'm more kind of a conservative person so let's change the color for this so let's start customizing um let's see i need um like value so let me change the background color first uh, let me change this color to effects to be let's make it black um so title i need to change the title to white okay and i need the value to be white as well okay Think this makes sense so you could just format painter format painter um so you can adjust the size of the font okay so let, so i want my survival non-survival to be red the text on that one to call out value non-survival to be red um non-survival survival should be green males pink this looks good so far and that general can be white. Um, let's just create an hey, let's create a text box. Um, Titanic data. Let me just call this Titan Titanic data analysis. Okay. Okay, I think that looks good there. Are, what else? Let's start arranging. So let's start um, looking what are the main um, charts we need to see. Um, so it just depends on what, what you want to see. So I think I want to see the distribution of males and females. So we have the count. In this case, I don't need a count anymore. So if I come back to um, data label, so I want to see the category and the percentage. That's all, thank you. I want to see it. No, that's fine. Mm, I want to see it inside, preferred inside. And I want that to be bold. I think that's fine, that's white. Let me make that bold. And, and let's see, I think we still have a lot of white spaces that I don't really need properties. Let's make take out padding. Okay. Um, I don't really need legend because the names are already inside. I can turn off my legend. That's fine. What else do I want to see? I think this, I want to see survival. Um, count of survival. This, this should be most important. I want to see count of survival. So I need to, um, so let's see. Legend. Let me make the legend go top, um, top left. General title. So five count of percentage. I don't need any other thing. Make it black. Just need it as black. Okay, I think that's fine. I could have that as bold. Okay, so we are building our chart. We are having great chart. Um, let's see. What else do we want to see? What else? Okay um i think we could have this age on average fair uh, let's let's just move this away and see let's have this year average fair something we have a chart there so let's see average fair um let me just um format this painter format painter Okay, so I have it as that. Um, so I don't need the legend because we already have this legend here. So and they are uniform. So I can take out the legend. Okay, and um, let's see. Why axis um, zoom slider? Let's have zoom slider. But I don't want the zoom. Um, let's turn it off for x axis. So you can choose to zoom. 
um, if you want to do more detailed analysis, but in this case, no. Um, no, so okay, that's fine. We could have the distribution, let's just have it directly under this one. So it just shows the distribution of who survived and who didn't survive. So I don't need the legend as well, yeah. Just turn off the legend. So we know that this is class, so we can turn off the um, title. In this case, I don't need the title. Um, count of it index. Um, let's see, x axis, y axis. Mm, I don't need the y axis title. Um, so we could choose to have this. Yeah, so some of where they impact from. Have, um, so we have our distribution, our Instagram distribution of based on age, um, counts. Okay, I think these two charts are the same, so I think we'll keep that. I delete this one. Okay, um, so let's have this here. Um, survived based on location. I don't know if we really need that, but that's fine um okay survived is male female okay let's just have this somewhere here um sort counting and these two charts are showing that you know really the same thing but let's see yeah wait i take this out let's just have this two hmm. This yeah. Okay, okay, I think this looks good. Then we can start adding. Let's see, let's add some filter to this. Some slicer, no country side. This is not what I want. Okay, so let me just click that. So I just want to add some slicer so you can filter based on. Mm, so I want to see um, filter based on first of all I want to filter based on where they're back from um, so I can filter this um, uh, let's see so let's start editing this slicer setting mm, so I want it to be drop down so this makes sense and back and I can make the background background black. Make the background black and text. I oh, don't have title. I'll come back here. Values. Let's make this white. Um. Okay, so I think this looks good. I can say CV. Let's add the slicer for. Let's make it class. This one class. Okay. Okay, I think this looks good. And uh, so this just shows you a general count of your data. Let's see. Do we? We don't need this as big as that. So. So this shows you distribution of age. You can start adding title things to it. Um, so you can still build more filters depending on what you want to see. Uh, let's say let's make them the same height. Just come general height should be. Um, let's see let them let's make them fifty five. Is that too small? I think that looks so you can add as many filter as you want. Um CV. So in this case, what 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 other filter do I want to add? Um let's see if they were alone or not. So let's just know if they were alone or not. So you can just so go true. So you want to see the distribution of them of that. See how that compares. Mm, so true false you see that so you start seeing it's a very interactive chart um so you could just start doing making different um analysis based on what you have yeah so i think there was something i did 
um okay let's see if we can start customizing things better so let's just cl let's click out and say um canvas background let's see if we can choose a picture and uh, let's make this let's see yes let's see if it okay okay so let's reduce the transparency so in order to for everything to feel so we need to reduce the transparency of our images okay so we can change the effects so let's just increase the, the transparency of the background so you can change okay so in order to do this up well so we need to change the color it depends on what you want to see So yeah, I think this is it. This looks good. You can convert settings so you can increase the let's see, adjust that as much as you need. But what I just want to show also is how we can now start cre um, creating some analysis using our uh, key influence. Um, so you could just come here and click on um, key influencer. So based on the data. You want to just run your analysis to see what was the key influencer of your data. So in this case, you want to populate. Um, you want to populate what you want to see. For example, survived by. Okay, so I want to do my analysis by survived. Explained by. I want to see based on. I want to explain based on embark, based on fair, based on sex, and. Um, based on average fare so let's use average fare not the sum of fare average fare based on and let's just use all the other columns based on let's see class so i click go to survive so based on this you can see let's just analyze based on yes um let's see likelihood of survival so you have more chance of survival if you're female if always a male if you're in first class so this is just shows that it's beginning to rank how you know if somebody will survive or not okay um let's see how do i get so in this case you can choose to for example i want to click on female uh, okay you can make this bigger so if you click on female for example so as a female you are most likely to survive so shows you so this is just so you start analyzing your data 
can use this key to like how what's contributing to your result. So based on the data, it's done the analyzers and see, okay, based on it, if you are to survive, you're most likely to be female, you're most likely to be a woman. I can get the same thing using that. So I can easily take take out O, o from this. Then, but I think we'll still leave it there. So class, as if you're first class, you're more than a child. It's most likely. So if we click on child, see, we have uh, women more likely to survive than followed by child and female. Uh, this is just like a general um, analysis, I would say, for this. And this is what I would do. You can choose to use anything, but I just walk you through how I achieved this dashboard. I could do different, do it differently, but it just depends on you and how, what you're trying to achieve. But at this, I have my kind of summary statistics of the different um, things I want to show. So I have um, the percentage of people survived, the females and in general. And on the next page, you see where I had the distribution. So you can start doing an analysis to see what factors contribute to um, if a person will survive or not. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting and useful and you follow through. Let me know what you think about my dashboard and if you have questions, I'll be in the comment section to answer you. Bye, see you on the next one.